You guys ever get annoyed because of a seatbelt sensor, but it's really just a bag sitting on your seat? I just go back to my truck and, um, well, somebody decided to put a Bluetooth seatbelt in my truck, which is great because now I can just stick my uh, travel bag here. I just installed this, she's beautiful. Usually what I do is I wrap my bag so that I don't set off the seatbelt sensor like saying someone's uh, sitting in the seat without their seatbelt. So having a Bluetooth seatbelt, I can set that there and I won't be setting off the seatbelt sensor. If I plug this in, it goes away. So besides the seatbelt sensor going off and telling me to passenger seatbelt needs to be fastened. This is also good if you have uh, a race car. So if you have the five point harness and you also still have it as your daily driver, you cannot get rid of your, um, your seat belts. This is not only illegal, but it's also a bottle cap opener, which says to me, unless you're drinking bottled root beer, you'll be uh, the wobbly pops and it starts on either side, which I just noticed. Not bad, but uh, it kind of promotes drinking and driving in, in a roundabout fashion. So it's like triple illegal because you got a bottle cap, bottle opener here, bottle opener here, and it's also a Bluetooth seatbelt. Anyways, guys, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, about a Bluetooth seatbelt, let me know. I will get back to you in the comments down below. As always, have fun, stay safe, and use the factory hardware that came with your vehicle, unless you're racing or off-roading. In those cases, use the five-point harnesses that you should have installed. Peace.